Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I think we've gotten everything out of town here. I don't really see. Uh, wait a minute though. There's something we can do with a pond. Oh, it just looked like the ice chunks were something we could jump on. But apparently not. Wait a minute. Oh, we can't go off the path to hit the trees. It's kind of a shame. Hey, 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 hey! Wait. Oh, no! Bruh! Yeah! Bruh! I've been waiting for you, Mario! It's been... I've been here forever! I was getting desperate! I thought I was gonna freeze! This place is freezing and cold and nasty and icy! I hate it! I can't take it anymore! I gotta get out of here! I'm gonna beat you up in record time and head back to someplace warm! You ready, Ice Boy? Let's do it! Well, he didn't even give me time to read his dialogue. Alright. Oh, I've been busy, Mario! I learned cool techniques! But I'm bummed. Check this out! Yeah! -ha! What? Look at that piece of work! I've been taking a little magic course on the side! And now you're gonna be my final exam! Yeah! I'm gonna win this time! Yeah, <laughs> you think so, huh? Alright. Um. Huh. Yeah, take that, you jerk. Okay. Um. Let's get Goombario out here. Well, I mean. Mario, you like magic tricks? You won't like this one! Whoa, I certainly do not like that one. Ha ha ha, that felt fantastic! I just keep on getting better! Oh yeah? That seems to be the limit of what we can do. Hmm. Wow! That sucks. I'm gonna go down to 20. Multi bonk? Nice! Try that. You do a record number of jumpings on him in one turn. <laughs> we do make it look a little ridiculous here. Ah! You stink. Okay. We can just jump on him twice now or whatever. There we go. Wow, it was decent star points. No! No! Alright, whatever. Um. Jeez. I think, uh, in fact, I'm reasonably sure that there's another boss past this, so, uh, we're gonna go do the Toad House thing again and come back through. I know, it's a. It's uh it's kind of a cheat move, but I just don't wanna I mean he he beat us up and uh I'm And I don't like that. I mean at least we're gonna do it quickly. Skipping all the dialogue and stuff. Oh we get another ice potato. Huh. Um. <laughs> I don't need an ice potato. <laughs> like, I if they're fun to have, but I, de I definitely don't need them. That really, you know, it looks like it makes you move faster, but like that little pause at the end might actually uh, 
cause more trouble than it's worth. It may actually level it out. Oh, awesome! Poor guy. Funny, but still poor guy. Oh, jeez, this could be anywhere. This area is huge. Huh. Alright. I just kind of do this systematically, I guess. Oh, nice. Nothing in the trees, I'm surprised. Huh, okay. Oh, whoa! That is a nice piranha. Oh, jeez. I really... What is going on here? Oh, man. Okay. Uh... No, let's... Okay, first off, let's change members. And, uh, let's see what... Let's see what Cooper's, uh, fire shell can do. Oh! Crap. Oh, man, that was horrible. That was... I wasn't ready for the press left repeatedly thing. Okay. I have two. Nice! Get him, Zap Tap. That guy's eating rocks! He's eating rocks! What is going on with that? That's ridiculous! He's eating rocks! Okay. Alright. It's two less piranha plants in the world. Now let's try this for real. Whoa! That's no, that's really hard to do well. Oh, and I gotta deal with guys eating rocks again. Jeez. This I didn't need. Okay. Um. Smooch me! Okay. Wow, we can we can attack the rocks. Nice. Now what are you gonna eat, huh? <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. Ha <laughs> ha! You guys take damage from licking me. We should have probably been. We should have attacked the rocks right away. I don't know that we could have taken out five rocks, but we certainly could have made that attack barrage a little less brutal. I suppose. Okay, I saw an obvious letter in the behind the thing there. Okay. Ooh, nice attack power up. I'll take it. Yeah! Oh, you just five? That's, that's, that's not bad. Haha, <laughs> you took a damage. I'm gonna jump on you. Oh, no! Alright. I'll take it, whatever. We killed the frost piranhas. Now I guess we can go back and get that letter, though. I mean, it only makes sense. Oh, nice. Okay. Whoa. Nice. Turn back home, no father. Turn away or I'll eat you. 
What do you think, scary monster, aren't I? You know you want to run. What? You will regret this. Will I now? We'll see. I don't know. I don't really feel myself regretting it yet. Multibonk! Oh, man. What? What is that? Better do less than 21 damage. One damage. Nice. Are you scared yet? Um, you have three hit points, buddy. There you go. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take 14 star points for that. That was ridiculous easy. No! Run away! <laughs> nice! Okay. Let's go get him! They'll be easier to kill now that they're tiny. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, Mario. Yes, thank you for coming. How do you do? I'm guy called Merle. I can't bother to stalk kids more in here in Starboard Valley. There are many things I must tell you. But not here. Come, let's go to my house. I cannot concentrate out here in the cold. This way, please follow me. I'm not going to be doing that. I want to go to Star Haven. We I get to go there, I want to deliver lots of people's wishes. I want to become a great star spirit someday. We I do our great you wishes, Mario. Of course I will, I promise. I wish Bowser would stop kidnapping my girlfriend. I must apologize for the rude reception of the star kids. None of us expected that you'd come here so quickly. They frightened strangers to try to keep the village safe from Bowser's followers. Please, you must forgive them. Now, I just want to talk like them more. I wonder how Tweak is doing. He was the last one to rise up to the sky. He went just before Bowser took the star ride. And he was just a great kid. He looked after everybody. Do you think I'll ever get to see Tweak again? Ah, uh, no. No, I don't. I certainly do not. Okay, now, does Starboard Valley have an item shop? Perchance? Mayhaps? Ah, oh, crap. It's all these ninja guys. And then, like, nothing. And then nothing! NOTHING! Alright, well, there's a toad house, I suppose. Okay. Then we can go talk to Merle. And, uh, yeah. What's this guy's deal? Please get the star rod back from Bowser, Mario. The Mushroom Kingdom deserves to be at peace. Good luck. Ugh. Alright, whatever. Got a mountain place. I'm trying to give him a less Merlin y voice, like a younger. Now, Mario. You must heed well what I'm about to tell you. This frozen area is called Starborn Valley. It is named this because it is here that stars are born and raised before rising to the sky. But now, ever since Bowser stole the star rod from Star Haven, the power of that place has weakened and star kids have found themselves unable to rise up into the sky. I sent a ninja to my father, Merlin, hoping that I could coax you to come here. Because I found out where the last star spirit is. It came to me to dream a vision of the last star spirit begging me for help. If my vision speaks truly, then the last star spirit is being held atop Shiva Mountain, which lies to the north. Up top, up top sits the Crystal Palace, the star spirit waits there. The Crystal Palace was originally built to honor the stars. But as time passed, it slowly faded from... <laughs> <laughs> It's slowly faded from the memories of local people. And now no one can remember how to reach the palace. 
There is a way, though, when it involves items that have been passed down in these lands. Here, take this. We get the scarf! This scarf was passed down through many generations in Starborn Valley. I wish I knew how to use it, but I do not. According to the legends, you must use this and another item that has been passed down in Shiver City. If you hope to open the way to the Crystal Palace. Sadly, that's all I know. If things remain as they are, Star Kids will never again be able to rise to, rise to Star Haven. Such a fate would be awful. Please help them. And expel Bowser from the sky. Yeah, we'll do. <sighs> Got it. Beat up Bowser. Oh, yes, Mario, I almost forgotten. There is supposed to be a small shrine somewhere along the path through the Crystal Palace. A legend has been handed out of this valley regarding the shrine's secret. Truth lies not only in the eyes, sometimes even walls may lie. Could we as a guest, but you must find this shrine and solve its mystery to reach the Crystal Palace. Please don't forget it. I have it on tape, buddy. <laughs> I never forget anything! I'm Vertical Sandwich! You guys take care. Bye, everybody.